Focus 3 was supposed to develop or at least support the success of its predecessor. However, this did not happen, it lost all credit of trust. Even representatives of taxi companies, who loved the second generation focuses, and servicemen were disappointed in the car. The iconic model in the third generation was frankly spoiled by dubious changes, from a decrease in ground clearance and space in the cabin to the use of a robot with dry clutches, the reputation of which was already spoiled then. At the same time, Focus 3 is still quite liquid in the secondary market. Apparently, the manufacturer has drawn conclusions. The upcoming fourth generation of the model, instead of the capricious, dry, robot, will once again acquire a hydromechanical machine. The manufacturer has all the trump cards to return the status of a people's car to the Focus. In addition, an automobile plant in Sevalosk and the production of successful Duratec 1.6 engines in Yellow Book. There are no particular complaints about the paintwork. In this regard, Focus 3 is the middle peasant among competitors. According to company tradition, the engine control unit is located on the inside of the front left fender liner. Even with minor accidents with a blow to this zone, not only the module itself suffers, but also the connector on the expensive wiring harness. It is necessary to carefully monitor the condition of the fender liner, over time, it can deform, and water during washes will fall on the connectors of the block and harness, causing them to corrode. On many modern Ford models, the rear bumper eventually begins to rub the edges at the corners of the trunk lid. Adjustment of body elements does not help. The bumper is fixed with just a couple of clips and actively plays when driving at high speeds. The manufacturer limited himself to sticking an armoring film on the edges of the cover in hazardous areas on cars manufactured after 2013. The heated windshield still cracks with temperature changes. The manufacturer did not save him from excessive causticity. The sandwich of engine and air conditioner radiators is located very close to the front of the car and quickly becomes clogged with dirt. It is advisable to flush the heat exchangers at least once a year. In addition, the engine radiator is rather flimsy. During the warranty period, it is often changed due to a leak. For example, it is enough to lightly hit the bumper when reversing off the curb so that the radiator cracks. On cars manufactured before 2013, water leaks into the trunk. It enters through the seals of the cabin ventilation valve, which is built into the side of the rear panel of the body. The dealers changed the assembly to a new one according to the technical bulletin and sealed it. Although usually sealing was enough. When choosing a used car, pay attention to the condition of the doorways and hood. Rubber seals wipe them down to metal. Due to constant friction, rust does not appear, but it is still a good reason to bargain. Supercharged gasoline engine EcoBoost 1.5, 150 horsepower appeared in the Focus engine range during restyling. Cars and configurations that include such a unit are very expensive, so there are few of them on the roads. Since this motor is also put on the Kuga crossover, the statistics are richer here. The EcoBoost 1.5 turbo engine, built on the basis of its atmospheric relative 1.6, is much quieter than its progenitor. Like all direct injection engines, it is prone to fairly quick clogging of fuel injectors and the formation of deposits on the intake valve plates. A similar thing happens on the naturally aspirated 2.0 engine, but on the EcoBoost unit it happens less often and in milder forms. The nozzles are successfully washed on an ultrasonic unit, but this pleasure is not cheap, since when removing and installing injectors, it is necessary to replace disposable gaskets and O-rings. Otherwise, EcoBoost 1.5 is no problem. To date, significant problems with it have not been recorded even at Kuga, but on an all-wheel drive crossover. The motor is loaded more significantly than on the Focus. The Duratec 2.0 gasoline engine, 150 horsepower, was installed only on pre-reform cars. This motor differs from its predecessor, which worked on the second generation Focuses. The most important innovation is direct injection with all its advantages and disadvantages. In general, the engine was not marked by serious problems in terms of mechanics. He does not suffer from Maslowser and elongation of the timing chain. The main sore of the 2.0 engine is the rapid clogging of the fuel injectors and the coking of the intake valve plates. It would seem that an ordinary malfunction of engines with direct injection. However, focuses often came to dealers with an error signaling a too lean air fuel mixture due to clogged injectors, already after 30,000 kilometers. Fortunately, the injectors are successfully saved by washing on an ultrasonic unit. But unfortunately, there is nothing to remove deposits on the valves. 
All sorts of methods for cleaning them without opening the motor are expensive and not very effective. Another characteristic feature of this motor is increased vibration. Dealers have experimented with various software calibrations, but have not overcome the flaw, and the manufacturer does not recognize it as a defect at all. Moreover, the new motor runs smoothly, vibrations occur with mileage. Perhaps the cause is deposits on the intake valves. Increased vibration reduces the life of the right engine mount. Usually, its rubber filler is destroyed after 50,000 kilometers of run. It is important to monitor the condition of the lower support, which, when worn, causes even more vibrations. By the way, servicemen often kill the right support when they remove the gearbox and tilt the motor strongly. This also applies to the 1.6 engine. Periodically, on the 2.0 engine, dealers change the injection pump due to wear. There is also pump leakage. Gasoline seeps through the valve cover into the oil pan, causing the oil to thin. In addition, fuel leakage leads to errors caused by an incorrect composition of the air-fuel mixture. Sometimes the noise of the absorber purge valve located nearby is mistaken for the knock of the high-pressure fuel pump. It makes an unpleasant clattering sound, although it works properly. The valve is replaced with a new one, and the noise disappears. The 2.0 engine, like the 1.6-liter unit, often has a valve cover leaking. However, for a more powerful motor, the consequences can be more serious. Oil gets on the nearby T of the cooling system and actively corrodes its gaskets, up to the appearance of an antifreeze leak. The Duratec 1.6 TVCT petrol engine is well known from the previous focus and has a good reputation. Motors of different degrees of forcing, 85.105 and 125 horsepower, are almost identical. In addition to the respective software versions, they do not have the same attachments. The mechanical part of the motor as a whole is not satisfactory, however, it was marked by some annoying shortcomings. After about 30,000 kilometers of run, the engine starts to work much noisier, that is, it frankly rattles, especially during a cold start in winter. Noise source, piston group. However, this does not cause increased wear of the elements and is not a defect. When the timing belt is scheduled to be replaced, every 120,000 kilometers, it is important to carefully inspect the cooling system pump. Often by this time it starts to leak. If you miss a moment, the antifreeze will corrode the hinged belt. On pre-styling machines, the phase shifter control valve on the exhaust camshaft often leaks. It is located on top of the valve cover, and the jet of oil hits directly into the engine shield. The main thing is to notice it in time. Pressurized oil flows through a dead valve very quickly, and the engine can catch oil starvation. On the preform focuses, the valve cover gasket is leaking from the 1.6 engine. Usually she starts to snot after 100,000 kilometers of run. Another feature of the 1.6 engine is not the most outstanding resource of the generator and starter. The generator's voltage regulator fails. An indication of the lack of charging appears on the shield although the voltmeter connected to the battery terminals does not record this. The reason lies in the internal malfunction of the relay, which is connected to the brains of the motor via a separate bus. Dealers change the generator assembly, and specialized companies successfully restore the assembly. The starter relay quickly wears out. Unofficials will change it for reasonable money. Duratec 1.6 on pre-reform cars was marked by frequent leakage of the crankshaft rear oil seal. The 2-liter unit also suffers from this, although less often. The manufacturer has issued a service bulletin regarding this problem. When installing the oil seal, you must remove the oil pan, otherwise the new seal will soon begin to leak along its lower edge. Fatigue of the factory oil seal occurs approximately after the second MOT. It is given out by traces at the junction of the engine and gearbox. Although it happens that the oil seal of the input shaft of the dry power shift robot or both cuffs at once flows like this. Moreover, because of this, oil mist falls on the clutch discs and their forks, significantly reducing the resource of the nodes. Since April 2016, Russian-made 1.6 motors have been put on focuses of Russian assembly. They are produced by a plant in Yelabuga. To date, our engines have not seen any problems that distinguish them from foreign units. The classic 6-speed automatic 6F35 is paired only with the EcoBoost 1.5 engine. This is a joint development of Ford and GM. The 6F35 is based on the infamous 6T30-6T40 box, which was installed mainly on the Chevrolet Cruze and Astra of the previous generation. However, 
Ford released its development to the market later than its colleagues and initially eradicated the serious problems and childhood sores of the unit. The output turned out to be a successful box, devoid of significant shortcomings of the GM unit, including a small resource of the valve body and its valves, as well as the destruction of the retaining rings of the brake drums, which entails the complete death of the machine. The 6F35 automatic machine has proven itself well on Cugs and Mondeo. The owners turned to dealers because of the rapid contamination of the oil due to the specific operation of the torque converter lockup mechanism. Due to the wear products of the friction linings, the liquid noticeably blackens already by the second MOT. To extend the life of the box, it is important to at least partially change the oil every 45,000 kilometers. At focuses, a similar effect and breakdowns have not yet been noticed, but few cars with this box have been sold. The diesel engine Duratorque 2.0, 140 horsepower, is a development of the PSA concern. It was only available for pre-reform focuses. For the entire time this modification has been present on the market, few cars have been sold, so we will focus on more extensive statistics on the behavior of this engine on the previous generation Mondeo. The engine is considered quite successful compared to competitors. It is not characterized by serious mechanical failures. In case of emergency repairs, you can use French spare parts, they are often cheaper and easier to find. Fuel equipment, high-pressure fuel pump and nozzles, is sensitive to fuel quality but still stably withstands a mileage of 150,000 kilometers. If you often call in at questionable gas stations, the nozzles may require flushing after 50,000 kilometers. The first manifestation of their clogging at focuses is an unstable start of a cold engine. Before it warms up, it runs extremely unevenly and may even stall a few times. The manufacturer has issued a technical bulletin about this. He ordered the injectors to be flushed with several cans of fuel additive added to the tank. According to the experience of dealers, the effectiveness of this method is 50 50 -ths. Alas, dismantling the injectors from a diesel engine and washing them at the stand are expensive and conceal a number of pitfalls. Focuses often come to dealers with a melted fuel filter cap equipped with a heater. A similar situation is also familiar from French models armed with this engine. The repair kit includes a new cover and connector. It also suffers. Reflow is detected visually and has nothing to do with any specific mileage or age of the car. Some customers required a repair kit twice during the warranty period. Dealers have also encountered cases of oxidation of the connector and the position sensor of the variable displacement turbine mechanism, accompanied by the appearance of a corresponding error. Focuses and Kugi distinguish themselves with this with a variety of runs, and regardless of age. Dealers do not repair turbochargers, so they change an expensive assembly. The PowerShift dry clutch robot is paired with 1.6 and 2.0 petrol engines. As with machines from other manufacturers, this type of box causes a lot of criticism. Most of the complaints are related to low clutch life, as well as jerking and jerking when switching. The reputation of the dry PowerShift robot is even worse than that of the similar DSG. The manufacturer is working to improve the reliability and resource of the unit, but things are going slowly. The situation with jerks and jerks has not changed much, but the clutch life has been increased significantly. If on the pre-reform focuses, especially before the 2013 release, replacing a node almost every 30,000 kilometers was a common thing, then after restyling the number of such calls during the warranty period has significantly decreased. In a dry Ford robot, the clutch forks and the input shaft oil seal quickly wear out. Moreover, the cuff leak accelerates the death of the forks. More dirt gets under their anthers, and they begin to wedge, killing the clutch discs even faster. A LUK kit has appeared on the market, including clutch, forks, and oil seal. It is a set of original spare parts, the price is about 25,000 rubles. The mechanical part of the box is expectedly not capricious. Bearings, gears and synchronizers rarely require replacement. Pumped up the external control unit of the robot. It fails on machines manufactured before 2013 due to defective chip soldering. The manufacturer released a modernized module and carried out a service campaign to replace old blocks. But it did not affect all problem cars, since the specific symptoms of this malfunction described in the bulletin did not exhaust their entire possible spectrum. The wet clutch power shift robot was only paired with a diesel engine. On cars of all manufacturers, a box of this type causes much less trouble than a dry unit. The clutch resource consistently exceeds 100,000 kilometers, 
and the mechanical part suffers mainly from fans of traffic light races. The reputation of Ford's wet robot is no worse than that of the Volkswagen DSG. Servicemen recommend adhering to the factory recommended oil change interval of minus 45,000 kilometers or three years. When replacing, it is advisable to flush the mechatronic module. Robots of this type have a common oil circuit, a natural clutch where products inevitably get into the mechatronics and its solenoids. Manual transmissions are generally reliable, but bother with minor sores. Paired with a 1.6 gasoline engine is the IB5 unit, and with 2.0 MTX75. A feature of both boxes is a noticeable noise, rumble, when working on neutral. Even a complete overhaul of the units does not save if the owner sets out to defeat an unpleasant accompaniment. These units often leak drive seals. Servicemen note that boxes on almost all Ford models suffer from this disease. In 2014, the manufacturer issued a technical bulletin, according to which it is necessary to select the size of oil seals when replacing strictly according to the VIN code of the car. The applicability of cuffs for specific gearboxes and periods of their production has been established. The scale of the disaster has noticeably decreased, but the leaks have not yet been completely defeated. Focus 3 uses two types of steering racks, electric and hydraulic. Power steering relies on modifications with a 1.6 gasoline engine paired with the PowerShift robot. Dealers did not record any problems with the hydraulic rack. A classic hydraulic booster scheme with a belt-driven mechanical pump is used. The manufacturer never won the knocks of the electric rail, although it periodically releases modified notes. Other brands have had similar bad experiences, including Mazda and Subaru. The sound of electric racks is not a malfunction and does not indicate wear. This is a design flaw that cannot be overcome with upgrades. Specialized services undertake repairs, but the resulting noise reduction is only temporary. In addition to the electric rack, the anthers of the steering rods are hard, with an unsuccessful bend. When turning the steering wheel, they touch the hinges, making a characteristic click, and wear out quickly. This applies only to pre-reform cars. In the rear suspension, by about 100,000 kilometers, all silent blocks capitulate in mass and the lever mounts turn sour. Everything is like Focus 2. Only the original silent blocks of the rear trailing arms are available separately. The rest of the rubber metal consumables for Focus 3 are not supplied as spare parts, and the levers have to be changed as an assembly, since the available substitutes for the original silent blocks fall out of the clips a short time after pressing. By the mileage of 100,000 kilometers on all modifications of the Focus, the anthers of the drives are cracking. If you miss this moment, then the inner hinge of the drive is the first to surrender, notifying the wear by the appearance of vibrations. Fortunately, it is collapsible and available as a separate spare part. By 100,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks of the front levers are destroyed. To the delight of owners, they are available as separate original parts. The crunch when turning the steering wheel is caused by the ingress of dirt and moisture into the support bearings of the front shock absorber struts. Modernized elements with improved protection began to be put on the conveyor from the beginning of 2014. Front and rear shock absorbers are rarely changed, usually they last at least 100,000 kilometers. Converters are extremely sensitive to fuel quality. This applies to all modifications of the Focus in the pre-reform version. Substandard fuel provokes an error signaling the low efficiency of the converter. During visual inspection, damage to its cells is not detected, usually their local melting occurs in hidden cavities. Oxygen sensors are also demanding on the quality of gasoline. Frank counterfeit causes the appearance of a white coating on the measuring part, as well as on spark plugs and neutralizer cells. This malfunction is typical mainly for pre-styling focuses, this is rarely seen on updated focuses. However, even on fresh cars, oxygen sensors may need to be replaced. Due to poor quality gasoline, an error may appear on any run, reporting a slow lambda reaction. There is no notorious white coating on them, but they can no longer be returned to a full life. In addition, on pre-reform focuses with 1.6 engines, the wiring of the rear oxygen sensor touches the heat shield of the converter and burns. Due to the short circuit of the wires in the harness, one of the fuses flies out which is also responsible for the power circuit of the radiator cooling fan. On pre-styling focuses, an insidious leak of the windshield washer motor sometimes occurs. Dealers have seen a lot of cars with this problem. Through the wires of the harness, the liquid gets to the body electrics unit located in the cabin. In the best case, 
corrosion occurs on the connectors on the side of the module and wiring, and in the worst case, liquid enters the unit and takes it out of service. As a result, the electrician of the car begins to live its own life. In 2001, the manufacturer released upgraded washer motors, with an additional seal on the side of its connector, and a corresponding technical bulletin on the replacement of affected elements. A wiring harness and repair connectors are also available as separate spare parts. Along with the plastic steering wheel, the handle of the mechanical box usually wears out. Quite quickly, leatherette inserts in the combined cabin become decrepit. The rest of the interior elements behave very dignified. Ford cars have always had good liquidity in the secondary market, and even the failed Focus 3 in many respects was no exception. Surprisingly, all its modifications are sold quite well. An outsider in this bullet car with an 85 horsepower engine, in a poor configuration. These also find their buyer, it just takes time. Focuses go great in the titanium configuration, even with the robotic box. It causes a lot of criticism, but it doesn't really scare people, although many are wary of robots. There are very few tricks with the diesel engine on the market, statistics on them are scarce. But if you focus on older models, such as the Mondeo, interest in such a modification is high. Versions with an EcoBoost 1.5 engine have already appeared on the secondary market. They are dismantled very quickly. The presence of a classic machine captivates. The price level for cars of the second and third generations is another proof of the failure of the third Focus. For example, Focus 2 produced in 2008 to 2009 in good condition, with the 2.0 petrol engine and automatic, stands as its successor born in 2012 with a similar engine. I recommend buying a Focus 3 exclusively with a manual transmission in order to avoid the inevitable and high costs of repairing the robot. It is best to consider versions with a 1.6 engine, 125 horsepower, in a rich configuration. I advise you to look for cars at dealers or entrust this matter to proven pickers. After all, the high liquidity of the car is of increased interest among criminal structures. Ford Focus 3 is a prime example of a used car whose health and behavior directly depend on its modification and year of manufacture. If you still cherish the dream of buying such a used Focus, it makes sense to consider exclusively updated cars that have eliminated childhood sores and increased the reliability of individual components. And it is better to bypass tricks with the dry robot.